Morning guys! Today I thought I would upload a vlog. I have got the world's weirdest hair right now. It is 9am, I am still in my pyjamas and I'm about to have a shower and get myself sorted for the day. So I thought I'd bring you along with me today. Um, I have to nip out and get some little bits and bobs, run some errands um, and I'm also going to go and nip and see one of my friends. Um, Chris is actually shooting a wedding today, so he's not around, but I might carry this vlog on till tomorrow as well, depending on what happens today. If it's a really boring day, I'll do a two-day vlog. <laughs> so, I'm just about to do my makeup, and I thought I would talk you through what I'm doing at the moment with my everyday makeup, because I have been kind of switching it up a little bit. And I haven't done like anything makeup related for so long. So first up, I've been using this. And this is by a brand called Aerobi Aeroborean. 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 Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Aeroborean. It's a Korean skin therapy. This is the matte cream. Really like this. And it smells amazing. So it's basically just like a purpley kind of cream. That you squeeze out. Put it on. And it just kind of like mattifies your skin a little bit. I use it mainly as a primer. It kind of works really well under makeup. So I just apply it basically everywhere. I have got a bit of fake tan on at the moment, even though my face looks very pale on the screen. Um, but I've been using this. This is the Giorgio Armani Face Fabric Second Skin Makeup. Love this. It's kind of like a moussey texture, which I didn't think I'd like, but I actually do really, really like it. And it's kind of matte but it does still have quite a dewy kind of glow to it. I would say on my skin, it's quite light. Like it's not um, a very high coverage foundation, but you can definitely build it up. Then I'm using my collection concealer. I've gone back to this. I've got so many concealers. I always end up going back to this one. It's one of my favorites because it's really affordable um, and it really, really works. So I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, around my nose and basically everywhere I need it. Number seven, powder. I use this in every video probably because I've used it pretty much my whole time that I've been wearing makeup in my whole life. I really take these brushes in the lid just to kind of blend it a little bit. I don't really like how powder looks on skin, but I just can't stand having sticky face syndrome. So that's what I do. And then I'm going to add some bronzer and all that jazz. I've actually been using this Rodeal palette. I did a little Instagram with them recently and I got this palette and it is one of, look how used it is. It's one of my favourites, which it really annoys me about Instagram ads because people think because you're all getting paid to post it, you don't actually like it and you don't actually use it. This is proof that I do use this every single day. It's basically my most used palette now. So I really like it. It's good for like the bronzer shades. So you get like contour, um, shade, a bronzer shade, um, a blush and then some highlight powders and the highlighters are amazing literally as soon as I use them people are like what are you using you also get like a little powder as well for under eyes and all over your face okay so today I'm actually going to go for a pink blush this one is by Clinique again had this for ages it's pink pop number 12 um just gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks do a nice big smile <laughs> I don't know when I ever smile like this, but, you know. Then I'm going to use my Becca highlighter. I got this at an event I went to, Shona recently. This is the Royal Glow, which is very um, fitting for the Royal Wedding that's just gone. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's got a crown in it. Really like this. It's quite golden. It's a little bit sparkly, but it looks really nice and natural just on your cheekbones. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah. I do like adding a little bit of highlight, just feel like it gives my skin a bit more of a dewy glow, which obviously I take out with the powder. So I'm just going to add a little bit down the centre of my face, and then I add it on my eyelids as well. Figured I might as well add it there, don't know why. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows, and I have been using this YSL print pencil. I've been using this for so long now. Um, I've actually got a backup one somewhere because I love it that much and um, so yeah so just literally like usually just draw like a bit of a line here and then at the top and then just kind of really gently fill it in there we go simple don't really do a lot to them to be honest and um, so yeah then I'm gonna go in with my most used um, uh, palette 
I use this thing every day, mostly because I'm lazy and it's the only one I've got out um, and handy to use. But I also really, really love the colours in this. And I see I just go over with the first lightest shade. I just kind of like run that over my whole lid just to even it out a bit. To be honest, the colour payoff isn't that great because, I mean, I'm so pale it probably matches my skin colour. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to do that on both lids. I'm going to go for maybe this colour here. Just, um, I think it's called He Devil. Just in my crease, just to give it a little bit of colour. So, like so. I'm not going to go crazy though, because, like I said, don't want too much makeup on today. I always find that one eye goes better than the other, and it's usually the other one, so... This one just gets what it gets. Mascara, mascara. Mascara wise, I am using this one from Armani again. I can't remember what this is called. Black Ecstasy. Kind of really filling and lengthening. Although today it's gone like a bit like weird, which is typical because I'm filming. <laughs> but yeah, it's gone a bit lumpy today. makeup is finished I've just curled my hair and then brushed it through what are we all thinking about the new blonde do I don't think I've ever 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 been this blonde before so it's taken a little while to get used to it so the weather sucks so much today so I've just popped on a jumper because I'm just gonna nip to Tesco and get all my little bits that I need So I've just come out of um, Tesco. Oh my God, it was packed in Tesco today. Normally in the weekdays, it's absolutely dead in there, but yeah, it was full of like, petulas. And um, God love them, gotta love an old person, but oh my God, they just don't know how to use a trolley. And I think I got hit about five times, so that was fun. Um, but now, I am gonna go and meet my friend now. I'm gonna nip this home with the shopping, then I'm gonna go meet my friend for a coffee, and then I'm gonna come back home and do lots of work and be really productive. Fingers crossed. Guess who left their debit card in Tesco? Me. So my friend had to buy me lunch, which was very nice of her, because I left my card in the chip and poo machine at Tesco. So now I have to go home, get my ID, and go get my card. Um, I just thought I'd show you Vincey because I know if you've been watching me for a while you will know that I have a little pet budgie called Vincey and I haven't shown him for so long because obviously I haven't been vlogging as much so I thought I'd get him out or her out we've actually found out that Vincey is in fact a very moody girl so yes when we bought Vincey she's going to fly around now when we bought Vince, we actually were so told that she was a boy um, so which is fine but we called her Vincent so now that she's a girl, we call her Vincy. Um, but I don't want to change her name because she kind of knows her name now, to be honest. Like, she knows that her name is Vince. So, yeah, he is a she. It's a girl. But, I mean, to be honest, she doesn't really know probably what she is. So it's fine. But, yeah, she's so tame now. Like, look. Say hello. She's a little bit moody today because I think she's kind of molting. So all of her feathers, yeah, all her feathers are going a bit, like, crazy on her head. And obviously, when she's flying around like this we don't have the windows open because I don't think she'd fly out but if she did fly out we would lose her so she sits up here and I keep an eye on her because obviously we don't want her to escape around the whole house but she's pretty good like she'll come onto my hand come on she's a little bit nervous with this camera what's that <laughs> actually we look like a good pair today because we're both pastel aren't we we're both pastel colours, which pleases me immensely. I'm going to take a picture now. <laughs> so goodbye. So, I thought I would show you some of the bits I've been sent today. Of course, not bragging, just show you my blogger mail. Hi, darling. I got some little bits from Pixie. I got the Overnight Glow Serum. I'm really excited to try these because I've never tried... Um, well, I've got some Pixie stuff, but I've never really tried much of their, like, skincare. So, I've got a Jasmine Oil Blend. Um, a glow oxygen mask which sounds really good and then I've got this which is the glow mist let me know if any of you guys have tried those I have got like a glow something like pixie glow 
oil stuff but um i haven't actually used that yet i've got it saved in my stash somewhere so this one is to look lovely laura bradshaw i think i know who this might be from instagram i follow a lady called natalie in norfolk i think is her name i'll leave her down below um, and she's doing some t-shirts for a charity um let me just read this thank you for helping me raise awareness slash money for muscular dystrophy 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 Am I saying that right? Dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy. I think that's how you say it. That I've recently been diagnosed with. All my love, Natalie in Norfolk. So she's designed a range of t-shirts for the charity. And I think all proceeds go to the muscular dystrophy charity. Oh, all these are really soft and nice. So this is the t-shirt. And then on the front here, it says beautifully put together. And I actually really like this. I love pink anyway, and it's for such a good cause. So if you fancy getting yourself one of these t-shirts, I believe she does them in all sorts of colours and different colours and things. Um, I will leave the link down below and you can go and pick one up and know that you're buying a really nice t-shirt, but also money is going to charity, which is always good. Also, these are some products from Andrew Barton and I'm actually working on a campaign with Andrew Barton. I remember like when I was younger, I used to spend all of my money on like Andrew Barton products in boots when they were like three for two and stuff. So we have the SOS hair repair treatment mask. Ooh. And then we have the conditioner and a shampoo I'm guessing, the shampoo. And then in here we have the hair oil. Let's have a look. So we have texture spray and heat protect spray. Really excited to give those a go and see how they are. And also, like I said, I'm working on a campaign with them. <laughs> um, so you'll see it on my Instagram feed. So you'll be glad to know myself and my debit card have been reunited and I'm very happy about it because that's one thing I don't have to do and now I can get in my pyjamas. <laughs> guys so it's saturday today and i have an asos parcel coming very soon so i wanted to show you what i picked up but it is 12 29 so not even morning and we're just going to go and get a coffee just to get out of the house go for a little drive so come along with us i've also got a little scrunchie in my hair today which i think is so cute i'm so happy that like scrunchies and ribbons and hair bows and stuff like that is back in fashion because i have a lot of these So we're just getting a coffee. <laughs> You're not in it. Good afternoon, welcome to Costa. What can I get for you? Hi, can I have a decaf latte? I Is mean, that a medium size of a decaf latte? Yeah, please, medium. Yeah, so medium decaf latte. Any syrups and that's all today? No, thank you. No worries. Anything else? Um, and then can I have a um, decaf iced skinny latte, please? And a medium decaf iced skinny latte as well. Is that everything yeah, for please. you? Do you want any food? Is that everything for you, yeah, sorry? that's it, thank you. Perfect, drive around them, please. Hiya. Hiya. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Any sugars? No, thank you. Skinny dish of ice latte? Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Dry food coffees are the best invention ever, don't you think? Who are you talking to, your listeners or me? Both. <laughs> do you want to go home and drink it or do you want to stop somewhere? Yeah, are you talking to them or me? You. <laughs> you remind me of a girl. Baby squirrel. That is so cute. So my ASOS order has arrived. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I picked up. Um, I have just quickly had a look because um, I've just filmed this and 
didn't press record, so that's good. So we're going to go again. I've got a little guest here as well because Vince, he was being a bit noisy downstairs and Chris is quite trying to relax after his um, busy day yesterday. So she's up here with me. Um, so the first thing I picked up was one of these and this is a little string shopper bag. If you're on Instagram, you would have seen pretty much every Instagrammer using this, mostly to store their oranges, which is very random, but it's a trend that I like. However, this was £14, which, seeing it in the flesh, I feel like it's very, very expensive, and I will be sending this back. A lot of things that would go with yellow, though. I've got some yellow shoes, I've got some yellow tops. Just really like yellow at the moment, and I feel like this would make a really, really cute like Instagram photo. But if it was a fiver, I would have kept it, but for £14 I feel like I'm being ripped off a little bit. So that's going back, but I do like them. They have them in pink and green on there as well. Um, I'm just going to try and hold out for a cheaper version. If you've seen these cheaper anywhere else, let me know in the comments below because I want to pay a fiver for them, basically. <laughs> then next up I've got a little jumpsuit or a play suit. And this is by Glamorous. It was £32. Um, I really like polka dots at the moment, so I had to go for this. We've got quite a low neckline, but I would be inclined to wear maybe like a little vest top underneath it anyway. Um, and then we've got quite a short short with a bit of a frill on it as well. Jumpsuits can look a bit crazy on me because I've got quite a long body, but we'll see what this one looks like and give it a go. Just looked really cute on the model and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try that and see what it's like. So this is a little blue jumpsuit. I really, really love the colour of this. I think it's so, so cute. I just hate the length. I think it's way too short. It doesn't work for me. I have got quite a long body. Like, my hips are here. So I feel like maybe if you have, like, a normal proportioned body, this would work. But, yeah. I mean, look how ridiculous that looks from afar. It's just way too short. I don't like things that show off this much thigh. Um, and I have had to put a little kind of white t-shirt underneath, but I feel like I maybe would have got away with like a little kind of like bandeau bra thing because actually you've got this little section here which shows off a bit of tummy and I like that. So I feel like maybe like a little bikini or a bra, a bit lacy kind of stuff would look really, really cute. But yeah, I just don't feel like this is, well, I know this isn't for me. It's way too short. So this is what it looks like without a t-shirt. It's very, very booby. I mean, I have got quite a small bust, so mine aren't kind of like moving around much. I would get kind of some tape here, maybe just to hold it in place. But I love the fact that it's got this like little peekaboo like stomach bit here. I feel like it looks a lot better without a t-shirt underneath. So I feel like maybe this is one for someone that likes a bit more flesh on show, or if you could get something really discreet, like a little lacy bandeau, it would look really cute. So next up, I have a jumpsuit. A bit unsure on this, because it's very, very stiff, but I really liked how this looked on the model. So it's basically a white denim jumpsuit, which I thought was so cute. I love like, the neckline. I love the fact that it's quite like simple. Um, so it's white, and then it's got this kind of like camel coloured stitching as well and I really like like contrast stitching I think it looks so cool I don't know how comfortable it's going to be and whether it's going to fit me very well because obviously the jeans I don't know what size the jeans will be I did get it in a size 10 so hopefully it will fit true to size but I'm not sure how I'm going to feel in this because I'm very fussy when it comes to my material and I do like things to be a bit more relaxed not so stiff denim stiff denim is basically my nightmare in life um, so like I said, it got in size 10 and it was £42. The model on the ASUS website wears it very, very cool. Which is very funky in it, but I'm not sure it's going to look the same on me. But we'll give it a go. This haul is not going to plan. I'm not liking this either. Let me show you. This literally gives me no shape whatsoever. Like, I have actually... <laughs> I look like a rectangle like I've actually got quite a big bum on me like if I suck that in or pull that in I mean there is a bum in there somewhere but I literally look like a rectangle that is so funny next up I got some more jeans but these are a pair of jeans that I really really liked and they are grey leopard print jeans I really like these for some reason they just really caught my eye and I love the fact that they're kick flare as well so we've got quite a high waist um, which again high waisted jeans are always my go to and they go down and then they slightly flare off and then they're cropped and kick flare and a raw hem which basically is my number one dream in denim so I really really like these and I think they look so cute with like a little grey t-shirt tucked in a little white t-shirt tucked in just a really kind of casual vibe but something a little bit different for my wardrobe because as many pairs of denim that I have 
I don't have any leopard print ones. Um, so yeah, I really like those and I can't remember how much they were. They were £35 and I got a waist 30, leg 32. So let's give them a go. Okay, so these might be a little bit more successful. So these are the leopard print jeans and I actually weirdly kind of like these. Like they're very flared and it's probably not the best angle. They are very flared. But I kind of like it. I like it with like a little simple t-shirt. I've just got this one on from Amazon that says yes. And I've just done a blog post on these over my blog because these t-shirts are so cute and affordable. Um, I will of course leave the link to that below. I've got these um, little platforms again which are from Amazon. And I feel like these look really, really cute. I feel like you would definitely need some sort of heel with them. And maybe they need like pressing a little bit but... I don't know. What do you guys think about these? Maybe I need them a bit shorter, actually. I'm not sure now. But yeah, I kind of like them. They're very kind of like 60s style. Something a little bit different. I'm just not sure. Again, not sure. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And then lastly, for clothes, I picked up a crazy, crazy cardigan. This is by a brand called Rococo. I got it in size medium. And how much was it? I think it was £38. It's basically a pastel rainbow cardigan. What more can a girl want? We've got a bit of peach, we've got lemon, we've got lilac, then blue and then pink. And this basically is the cutest cardigan I've ever seen. It's a really kind of long cardigan. I think it'll probably come down to like shin level, maybe ankle level. Gonna give it a go. I'm not sure on the length. I think maybe if it was a little bit shorter, it might be a bit more wearable, but we'll give it a go and see what it looks like. I'm all up for trying out new things after all. So I think maybe with a pair of like denim shorts, a little crop top, and then this over the top, that could be a really cute look. So this is the cardigan on, and I think maybe I should have gone for a small or even an extra small, because it feels quite like big and maybe a little bit too oversized. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'm feeling it on me. Like I've got these little shorts on. These are also from ASOS. They were in my last vlog. You might have seen them in my last one, but yeah. Like, I really wish the cardigan stopped at maybe the lilac because I feel like that would be like a really cute kind of like oversized cardigan. I think because of the length, it's just maybe not working. Let me know what you think down below, but I'm just not sure it's right. But I really love the top bit. Like, if it just stopped there, it would be perfect because I actually like the fact that the sleeves are like rolled up a little bit more oversized. I like how it looks, but I just think, yeah, maybe the length is a bit wrong. Kind of looks a bit weird from the back and stuff. And it needs pockets. It's got no pockets. But yeah, I like the idea of it. I'm just not sure it's for me. So yeah, so that's what I picked up from ASOS. Um, I thought I'd insert a little haul into this vlog. I can see you now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go and clear up my office and sort out my life and write a blog post. Working on a Saturday. What's got into me? I just don't.